Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Did you all have a Merry Christmas? <laughs> I bet so. I, I can tell. <laughs> Anyway, well, most of you have been waiting for me to come back with another video. I'm working on a Sonic Lost World video, so that's coming back soon. Uh, so be prepared for that, and uh, today we're looking at a series I have neglected on for quite some time now. One second. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna get some more here. Yeah, now you guys can see me better. Alright, uh, this is my review of Crash to Insanity. Uh, there isn't much to say about the story, it's pretty fun. This is probably the funniest and most popular game in the Crash series. Uh, next to Crash Bandicoot's story, that is. Personally, this is my personal favorite. If you can't tell by the cover, <laughs> this very hilarious cover. Uh, there. Uh, you have Crash and Cortex, and the story is focused much on these two. Uh, the story is goes that, uh, that there are these two aliens who want to take over the, uh, Crash's home island, and, uh, and uh, steal Cortex's brain for some reason because the two aliens happen to be Cortex's pet birds. Uh, Victor and Morris. Uh, yeah, we learn, we get, and we also get some backstory on Cortex, and we get, we in, are introduced to a new character in the series, Nina Cortex, Cortex's niece. Yeah. Yeah, there are plenty of gameplay styles in this, um, but such as Cra such as Crash and for the first time Cortex, well not not counting the racing games and, and Crash Bash. But uh, but yeah, um, this game was supposed to be longer, but there were a few cut levels such as such as the, such as a level that was replaced by Rocky Rumble, a level in the game where you where you face after one of the bosses. Uh, there are, speaking of gameplay styles, uh, you also have, um, let me think. Uh, you have, oh yeah, you also have, you also get to play as Nina, but that's only in two levels. You, you can play a Crash and Cortex in the same time. You can also take control of a giant robot, but that's only at the final boss. And, and I believe that's it. Yeah. Uh, Crash's sister Coco was originally going to be a playable character, but she she's just another a scrappy girl in the game who, in the, in the beginning of the story, she is captured by Cortex and Cortex steals her clothes and disguises himself as Crash. Yeah, I I couldn't make this up if I could. Uh, but yeah, um, you have many different kinds of moods. You have had the twin throw the you can run a cortex a snowboard there's the spank you can some of these moves are shown if you in the court if uh, if you're in cortex and crash at the same time mode uh, and uh, if you hold still for and if you just let go of the controller and let the two just go at it um after a few seconds court uh, they'll start, they'll start having like a fist fight or something, and the uh, cortex will start spanking Crash. And and there's the oh yeah, no, never mind. This is the twin throw. This is the twin slam. We ha we have the rumble, and then there's the sensor. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you guys. Uh, yeah, there's a reason that that uh that tag is covering it. Yeah. Hmm. 
But yeah, it's a pretty fun game. I I certainly I haven't beat well I have beaten it and I had a great time with it. I love the story. You're also by the way, and trans from the Game Boy Advance games was also going to be be a boss character, but he would but now he just makes a cameo in the concept art. <clears throat> but yeah, you also get appearance of Engine and Nefarious Trophy and Embryo. Um, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Yeah, there are plenty. Of, there are plenty of story. The story is really great. Plenty of elements in the game that make it fun and exciting for you and any friends you have that are Crash fans. But yeah. So yeah, if you if you ever come across it, buy it because it'll be worth it. You're gonna have a great time gonna have a great time with it but remember they're working together but they don't have to like it